You have many things. You have fantasy, philosophy, imagination, creativity. These things are dead within storytelling. You have many studios, game studios that are dead now. Bioware, Activision, Blizzard, Ubisoft, Rockstar, Rocksteady. Square Enix is currently on the chopping block. We don't know where they're going to be, especially given our understanding that they are working with ESG. Many concerns to have here. With many of these stories, they're now being lost onto us. The narratives which once used to enlighten, used to provide speculation, used to inspire for aspiration, these stories are gone now and they're dead. And many of the previous writers and developers from many of these companies, another name can be Bethesda. The worlds that used to bring to your mind enamor, well now they're gone. Effectively they're dead. They've been hijacked and now they've been corroded from the inside and out. Many of these companies now that currently further exist who survive, they're hanging on by a thread and they are under assault by modernity. These here are stories that do not provide modernity. What we are providing here are stories. Stories are meant to provide what used to be given. What movies used to provide as well and now those are completely hijacked and they no longer provide what they once did these are stories that are not written to think like a child to think like a an adult child a prepubescent mind these are stories which will explore philosophical concepts themes ideas these characters in all these different stories and there's much more to come they all explore a different range of maturities some stories are more light-hearted some others are much more dark, grim, tragic. Some are a little bit in the middle, and some have the entire range within them. Some of these are currently in further production, such as this here, the Realm Lords Apocrypha. We are currently working on much more than what we have begun with. We have space operas also currently in the work and it will be following a dark side user. And of course, it is a separate world from what you may be familiar with in space operas, but it seeks to honor those who came before and provided us great stories in what came before. And sadly, those stories will no longer be provided unto you. Well, and that's what we are working on here. And what is coming next with the space opera, we are going to go full blown into a story of a dark side user's mentality and their conquest upon the galaxy and we will not shy away from the conflict between good and evil or if you even want to say whatever it is in between even pursuing what's in between but in these stories we do not entitle the main character the protagonist the hero even we do not entitle them their victory we do not entitle them their conclusions every character is treated as a protagonist every character has a morsel of value because a story is not to be curated a story is to be articulated it is to be a vessel emulated by the messenger so these characters characters, their narratives, they speak themselves. This is not designed with the intent of ideology, as you will find today. And of course, again, we are not afraid of philosophy and addressing certain concepts, but the number one thing you will receive here is a narrative first, tropes either second or last, and of course, agenda will be either third or last. That is, of course, unless it's a certain character, right, that has an agenda within a story. But modernity Modernity is not to be included within these stories, within these narratives. We have many companies that are gone now, dead. The experiences that they once provided, including companies such as Konami, we know that that is a long gone company. We know that many of the stories that used to provide to us quality storytelling, quality concepts, themes, and characters, they're all gone. And so it is here that we provide to you the stories which will developmentally providing to you what the old stories storytellers have always provided, which is a sense of fascination, creativity, imagination. First and foremost, you cannot forget how important imagination is. And again, a grand narrative, a grand theme, a grand design, a grand character that is worthy of being read, not demanded of being read. These are the characters and stories that we provide to you. We have Umbral Stalker, Realm Lords Apocrypha, Invinci Girl, and the Queen's Festival. Each of these have an intent and purpose, and of course, we have the Celestial Conflict series that will soon be coming out, if not already. I have no idea when I'm releasing this video relative to when that book is coming out, but most likely it's coming out after this video. The stories whom of which used to provide to us a 
exactly what we wanted, exactly what we valued, provided us characters to which we loved. They're all gone now. But as we develop these products, we will be releasing audiobooks to start. After their ebook and paperback variants have been released, and furthermore from there is not simply just audiobooks that we seek to provide. But this is where it starts, and this is how we bring back storytelling. It starts from the ground roots here, and eventually, there will be more to come. Many more stories, many more genres, in each with a purpose to not bloat up the story content, but rather to provide you as much content as is necessary for the narrative. And for as long as the ideas speak for themselves, rather than forcing an idea or inflating the inherent worth or length longevity of an idea. Thank you for checking these out with me, and I cannot wait to provide you more than simply what is here, as there is more to come.